Hi, I'm Lillian Anida. I am a chef and I'm also a business leader in the restaurant industry as well as the digital business development industry. For the past few years, I've been very focused on trying to create um, an environment and society in the food industry that encourages people to eat a lot of indigenous healthy meals. And through that, Twala Health was created. Um, my focus and my main goal is that people can have more knowledge and more diverse visual um, knowledge of the end products using local ingredients and crops such as sorghum, millet, cowpeas, groundnuts, you name it. I want to make sure that us in Zambia know how rich our crops, our indigenous crops is and how healthy it is and then also promote healthier, tastier, more affordable and accessible meal plans and options for a lot of people. And let me take you through back my journey when I first became a culinary artist. So that was 12 years ago in Switzerland. And since then I've worked in Switzerland, Dubai, Sweden, and Zambia. The first time I ever encountered sexism was when I was an intern in Swiss. There was this young man who came in, wanted to be macho and ego and whatnot. Then I went to my head chef, Chef de Cuisine. I was like, chef, look, he's trying to take over my position and trying to make me look like I don't know what I'm doing. I couldn't speak French then fluently, so it was hard for me to kind of say my position. But my chef de cuisine was like, no Lillian, you have to stand up for yourself, I'm not going to do anything. And that's the first time that I ever learned that it's important to stand up for yourself and to not let anyone bully you into minimizing your knowledge at work because you've worked as much as they have, perhaps even more as a woman, right? So that set an example to when I went to Dubai at Atlantis de Palm, something kind of similar happened. And then I was, no, I'm going to stand up for myself. This is not right. I took the complaint to top management and they heard my, ma they heard my complaint and that guy was suspended. The, I think that was like the first time something like that similar had happened. And I remember people were like talking and whatnot. And I was like, no, we have to stand up for what is right. Because I always think, if I don't stand up for what is right, what, happen what happens to my daughter when it's her turn to be in the work environment? So my queen and my young girl who's watching this, maybe you're thinking of starting a business, maybe you are in a business, or you're in a workplace, or going for school, or want to start an education, or something new and advanced for you, right? Go for it. Learn to stand up for yourself. Learn to believe in yourself. Working with people, working with other cultures, genders, you might have thoughts of, am I good enough? Is the work that I'm doing good enough? Are they going to see through me? One thing that I'm starting to learn and I've learned is that when it comes to work, don't look at your gender. You're not a woman, you're not this and that. No, you're just there like everyone else. You are your knowledge, your experience, your way of wisdom. You are more than capable of being there and deserving just like everyone else is there. So don't let the gender come into you. So on this International Women's Day, my queen, my girl, go CC maybe, go and dream, dare to dream big, believe in yourself and do the best that you can. Happy International Women's Day.